Why is it so difficult for us to purify our intentions and be sincere in anything that we're acting upon? Undoubtedly amongst the most difficult things that a human being navigates is figuring out exactly how to be sincere in offering services and particularly in terms of our obedience and worship to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's so hard for us to truly worship God in the way that He ought to be worshipped. In the words of Ali alayhi salam, he states, Ilahi ma abadtuka khawfan min narak, wala tama'an fi jannatik, walakin abadtuka li'annaka ahlun lidhalik. He states, O oh Allah, I have not worshipped you out of fear of your hell, nor have I worshipped you out of a desire for your paradise, but rather I worship you for the sake of worship, because you are worthy of it, O oh Allah. At the end of the day, we need to strive toward getting toward that state and actualizing utter and absolute sincerity to Him, subhanahu wa ta'ala. But I realize and recognize that that's difficult. So we go through all of these different emotions during the course of our lives, trying to realign our intentionality such that every one of our deeds and actions are solely for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But it's important to recognize that it's a journey. And then it's important for us to take small incremental steps in this journey of life to getting closer toward God. Like anything else, habit formation is not something that is formed overnight. It takes really small, tiny steps. Every little deposit that you make in your bank account will eventually add up to a lot of small deposits and inshallah, a lot of money. Every step that you take will add up to a lot more steps which are beneficial for your physical health. Similarly, every act of kindness, every act of worship, every fast that you perform, every prayer, every verse of the whole Quran, it's important for us to start somewhere. Most people are not willing to give it a shot. They're not willing to truly engage their inner spirituality, so to say, because they try to resemble or emulate their worship after the worship of Ahlul Bayt They say, why should I start anyway if they are they and I am where I'm at. They are endowed with knowledge and with wisdom and look at me, I'm filled with sins and transgressions. Don't start that way and don't think that way. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us the capacity to be amongst the best and the greatest of His servants. And it's important that we start somewhere. So remember that our actions, every single one of them, will manifest into something beneficial later on. But we need to start with the small, efforts. We don't need to start by committing to recitation of one juz of the Qur'an, for instance, every day during the month of Ramadan or every month, for instance, during the course of our lives. Rather, we start every day with a commitment toward three or four or five verses of the whole Qur'an. Instead of committing toward performing the night prayer, for instance, Salatul Layl, every single day for the next 40 days, like so many people have the intention behind, no. How about you wake up and you focus on performing your obligatory prayers on time, taking small steps in the right direction. Before thinking about worshiping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala without any distraction, how about we just start by worshiping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and fulfilling our obligations and slowly by slowly building up our capacity to where we have the ability to be. You see my friends, engaging our spirituality, engaging our hearts and our souls in a deeper way is very similar to engaging our physical bodies. You can't all of a sudden exercise one day or eat a salad and all of a sudden your body transforms into some sort of superstar athlete. It does not work that way. It's a process. Similarly, your worship is not going to resemble the worship of Ali Zain al Abidin overnight. No, it's a process. You have to start somewhere. And once you start eating healthy, once you start exercising, once you make that commitment to taking those small incremental steps, you'll find that the process becomes pleasurable and enjoyable. Similarly, our engagement with the Lord of the Worlds. Accept Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When you take one step toward Him, He takes two steps toward you. And when we make that commitment to find Him, to seek Him, toward being sincere to Him, toward worshiping Him the way that He ought to be worshiped, you'll find that that process is pleasurable and slowly but surely we will undoubtedly walk in the footsteps of Muhammad and Wa'ali Muhammad.